If your kids are eager to get back to their sports practices and games, we have some good news for you. The Southern Idaho Conference, which serves Southern, uh, which serves Treasure Valley students athletes, is preparing to reintroduce sports programs. Idaho News 6 reporter Jessica Taylor spoke with leaders about when kids will be back on the fields. First of all, thinking of safety, but also knowing that that kids are chomping at the bit um, to get moving. School districts, a part of the Southern Idaho Conference, like CUNA, Boise, and Caldwell, are operating on a rollout plan for how they're tackling summer athletics. It has specific phases that we are following from the governor's reopening plan. The, the end of that is we're going to see a staged reopening of camps and those kinds of things. On June 1st, individual physical conditioning in school gyms and outdoor practices can resume. We plan to start letting a few students come, student athletes come and use facilities on a limited basis with the guidance of a coach and then we do, we put in some cleaning protocols that we'll expect. The summer reintroduction program has unanimous support of superintendents in the districts involved. SIC is working with the Idaho High School Activities Association to discuss plans for each sport. And we're gonna meet next week um, and with a list of nine to 10 questions or different scenarios, uh, what that's gonna look like and try to create another uh, document, if you will, for what fall sports will be. Right now, SIC is focusing on June and July programs. Once that's settled, they'll discuss the upcoming fall season of athletics. It gives us a, a, something to draw on over the summer when we don't have a full-blown program going. Shanahan says depending on numbers and recommendations from health departments, games and tournaments could be back by July. Jessica Taylor, Idaho News 6. The SIC continues to monitor the pandemic, and the start of each phase depends on the data. Summer rules for the conference also include no out-of-state or out-of-district summer camps or games, and any competition held at their schools cannot include more than three teams at one location.